All right, guys, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a very special video. Have you ever dreamed of just owning a car from MTV's PMRI like I certainly have? Well, guess what? Today, I'm going to tell you about an opportunity that a Pimp My Ride car, that's right, a Pimp My Ride car is for sale. If you guys want to know about the condition of the car today and how you can buy the car, stay tuned all the way throughout the end of the video to find out how and what the condition of the car is today. All right, if that sounds good, let's get started. Hi, I'm Will. I'm 21, and this is my ride. My sister gave the truck to me. She was tired of throwing money into it. I put over $2,500 in the engine, and it still doesn't work. I've never seen another person carrying a ladder on the bus. They're looking at me like, I mean, can he really be serious? Popping wood? That sounds like a porn. <laughs> There's no wood involved. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about that day, the day I cussed you out. <laughs> I miss you much. The day was the best intimate encounter I've experienced. Keys broke off in the ignition, man. Okay, so how do I start it? I'll never pull it back towards you. There you go. Now you turn it off, you push it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be black and have this. <laughs> This, this is the first time we've had anyone do victory laps. <laughs> the guys at Galpin Auto Sports gave this car a jalapeno green and yellow lowrider style paint job. They added a hydraulic system, a microwave, the worst seats ever put onto a car. I mean, the worst seats you could possibly put on a car ever, ever. Subwoofers, TVs in the back, and power tools. A little too fast? Yeah, that was a little bit too fast. The window's done, and I definitely nailed this one. And if you want to blow stuff, we'll hook you up with you. Hey, oh, yo. Flinged oh, oh. out blower. Yeah, all my holes got done. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I got a microwave. I mean, <laughs> you put a microwave up in there, man. I, I can eat it off my break, huh? Also put you in a refrigerator. Oh, my God, you actually put a microwave in the car. I, I don't know if I'm amazed or disgusted. I you never see me fix shit. You never see me with one tool on the shelf. You're a damn liar, man. That's not true. It's yeah. Yeah, all my tools, man. Damn, that look like a javelin. You f it up with Oh, yeah, this. that's for sure. You never see me with one tool on the shelf. <laughs> they you know learn how to act all right, potential you know? weapons <laughs> off of it. Oh, yeah. If, uh, this is your work van. This is your work vehicle. Is it reliable? Not all the time, man. No? Not all the time. Majority of the time, I really gotta catch a uh, ladder, man. You never see me with one tool on the show. Come on now, dawg. This is the mighty hammer of Thor. Ah! You never see me with one tool. <laughs> now, before we get to my thoughts on the episode, let me tell you guys about an opportunity where you guys can actually get more content and perks from me. If you see that button right here, click the join button right next to the subscribe button. You guys can become channel members and on channel memberships, we will offer exclusive content. You get early releases to videos and you have opportunities to connect with me. And let's just say you're out there and you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. Dude, I have a system in place that I can grow your channel by like 300 subs in the next month and I can give you guys promotions in my videos and help you guys actually get a lot more watch hours. I've been doing this with some other channels and the gains are unbelievable right now. I have taken my channel that was completely dead in the water to actually being able to turn into a decent income within the last month. And I have a full support system and a strategy on how to help you do this. So you can get that part in the VIP tier. Um, it does cost you a little chunk of change, but you will actually get that back because I know what the hell I'm doing and I can get your, I can take a channel from zero subs and I can literally get it to 300 subs in a week. Um, I know I can do that. So, and I can give you guys free promos and you guys can actually network with me for building your channel. And um, you guys can get a discord for jocking to the other fans. So you get a lot of benefits with that VIP tier or we got the exclusive tier. Or if you just want to help me support, help support me and hope that I make better content, we also have the basic tier. Now, let me rate this episode. All right, so I adamantly kind of hated this car and watching the episode again, it actually kind of grew on me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It grew on me and it's actually not that bad. Um, the paint and body, I did not like the paint job because 
the Wagoneer is a classic car. It, it, like when I think of Wagoneer, it's the wood paneling and it's the it's the unique paint job that stock that is worth a ton of money and they kind of just destroyed it and molested it. I don't know if I can say that well being demonetized on YouTube, so I might let's just say they eviscerated the paint job. They completely botched it in my opinion. It was not a bad paint job, honestly. I didn't like the green and yellow colors. I don't like the colors. I hate those two colors together. But on the same token, it was just not meant for that car. You had to keep it somewhat low key. Keep the wood paneling, keep it maybe black or do like a red or something like that. Keep the wood paneling and just make it look better. And it would have actually been worth a decent amount of money today, but they kind of they kind of eviscerated it and it just didn't look good. So paint and body, I'm actually gonna give it a 2.1 out of 10. It just wasn't right for that car and it, the paint colors were ugly. The wheels, they're pretty average, just your average pin my right wheels, a 4.8. The interior, oh my God, dude, boot skin material. So they literally took boots, tore them apart, and they used that material for the seats. So uncomfortable, not to mention this, laces on the back of your seat. So you're telling me I'm driving and I literally have shoelaces that are bulky and knotted up, driving into my back. I didn't like that at all. I think it's the worst interior I've ever seen on a car. If you've seen a worse interior, send that down below. Like they should have just left the old interior in there. If this was my car, I would rock this car, honestly. It's grown on me a little bit. I would rock it if I was given it. If we're mine, I wouldn't be super stoked about it, but I'd actually be happy with it. I would change the seats immediately. Immediately, because I, I, I just think the seats sucked, in my opinion. Accessories, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I didn't think it had that many accessories, but the trunk had, like, I think it was, like, eight TVs. It had two big screens, and then it kind of had, like, five or six in the circle around it. And then the speakers, it had a lot of speakers on it. It did. It had a lot of speakers. It had the power tools. It had the spinning tool wheel, which was a pimped tool version. It had the microwave, so when you're working... It's a work truck, kind of, when you can easily take breaks when you're at work with the microwave. That's convenient. That's somewhat practical, um, I guess. I mean, I don't know how it works with, like, the battery and stuff, but I think that's that's actually a useful thing. And the power tools on the side, I mean, the door, they had it, like, on the windows, the rear windows. It, you could press a button, and it would flip out, out power tools. That's just too heavy, and eventually you're going to wear the window out doing that. Like, it flips out, and you have, like, 10 pounds of drills just flipping out, and it, it, it was kind of quirky, I think. I don't think that held up the greatest. And then it had, like, the, two, the, the I think it had, like, a miter saw and, like, something else. But, hey, you could actually use the truck for working because he had a bunch of tools in the car. So I think the theme of it actually wasn't that bad. It was, like, a 6.5 out of 10. They, it was, like, kind of a work truck, and they kind of made it a pimped-out lowrider work truck. And, I mean, they did execute that. I just don't know. I just didn't like the paint job. But other than that, I don't really have a problem with the car, honestly. I really don't. The interior was god awful. I didn't like the boot skin stuff. That does not work at all. It's just, it's awful. It's awful. It's just awful. Insert that clip. Okay. Mechanical. They didn't do shit to it. Um, they should have because he complained that the car was not reliable. He really stressed. So some of the contestants by like, just stressed that the car's slow and unreliably and hopefully I'll get a new engine in the car. That didn't happen. He said, I, most of the time I just got to catch the bus. So I don't think they did any mechanical work to it, but I just don't know if it was running good or not for him at all after the show. And then episode entertainment, it was actually a pretty entertaining episode. I give it a 7 out of 10. The overall ranking is a whooping 4.545 out of 10. 4.45 out of 10, pretty average. One of the worst cars, not one of the worst cars done, but it was towards the bottom of the pack, we'll say. Now, where the car is today. So the car is actually still in California. It's actually still owned by the contestant, Will. And he is actually looking to get rid of the car. We've had a small conversation on the phone and he's asked me that he's trying to sell the car. He's looking to get rid of it. It's actually still looking pretty damn good. Like the car's always been garaged. He says it is running and driving. I don't have any videos of it running and driving, but um, if you're interested in buying the car, go ahead and email me, pimp my ride revisited. It'll pop up on the screen too, at gmail.com. And um, yeah, these are some pictures of the car. It still looks good. It's always been garaged. He says he's driven it like 1,200 miles in the last 10 years. So he hasn't driven it a ton. And he's kept it in pretty good condition. At least, like, he's always stored it in the garage, and it still looks pretty damn good. Everything from the show is still there. So hopefully we can get some more videos and pictures from him as he has the time to get them to me. Maybe we can get him to come on and do an interview with us. But if you're interested in the car, we can work something out. And um, if you're interested in buying a Pimp My Ride car, he is looking to get rid of the car. So you have an opportunity to buy. This might be one of the last opportunities to buy a car from the original contestants because like most of them have had the car for 20 years now. And if they've had it that long, they're probably going to keep it forever or hand it down to their kids someday. 
so that's kind of cool if you're interested in hitting the car getting the car just email me and if you're interested in a different car we do have some cars that this one's like the one that's they're actually really trying to get rid of it as soon as possible and some do have the potential to be purchased for a fee so if you're interested in that go ahead and email me i can get you in contact with the current owners and we can get something set up i we can literally get you pictures of the car. We can get you everything you need. I can shut up the shipping for you. I can make it as stress-free as possible where you can literally write one check and you can have a pimp my ride car to your doorstep in the next week and I will ensure that you don't get you don't get screwed over. But um, yeah, comment down below your thoughts on this car. If you have any other cars that you want me to cover next, I don't know how many, if I'm gonna cover all the cars from the show. I have a big video coming out that's pimp my ride related. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep doing these videos because I can start, I'm getting to the point where I can bang them out pretty quick. So, but eventually we're going to start transitioning this channel into other content and we'll still sprinkle in some pin my ride content that I have found because I have found a ton of info on the cars, but I feel like for the long-term sake of the channel and my personal enjoyment, I feel like it will be better for me as a brand for this channel and as for me building this channel up and for just for me have not running out of ideas to content with to start transitioning into other things that are not, not not all automotive related but we still will be doing a lot of car content just transitioning to stuff that i think will get more views and traction in the long run for the channel because the amount of people that still care about this show that are going to be watching me talk about every episode it's a very small percentage of the population that cares about a tv though show that ended over 15 years ago so but hey, like I said, if we have enough channel memberships and that's what you guys care about, we will cover every single car if you become a channel member. So there's always that. But comment down below what cars you want me to do next. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down my thoughts. Seriously, comment down below. It helps for the algorithm. And I enjoy talking to you guys in the comments. Well, I got to edit this video up, but I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned. We'll have a video next Friday. Every single Friday, we'll have a new video now. We might even sprinkle some videos in on some Wednesdays. If I have the time, it just depends with my schedule. I'm pretty busy, so I only can commit to one video a week right now, but we have a big video coming in about two weeks. It's going to be big. It's going to be the biggest video in channel history. Stay tuned for that. Stay subscribed. Stay tuned for that. Big things are coming. Comment down below your ideas and become a channel member. Thank you for watching. The official ranking of this car, it's in the last place out of the 13 cars we've ranked. I think it's actually jumped to 12 out of 13 now because I did edit the ranking. I did actually boost it up a little bit, but we'll just say last place for now because I might boost up the other one too because I think I was a little bit harsh on it. But the overall ranking is a whooping 4.545 out of 10. 4.45 out of 10, pretty average. One of the worst cars, not one of the worst cars done, but it was towards the bottom of the pack, we'll say. So thanks MTV for pimping my ride.